like it. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like one of the triangle units was long. All right, let's get to it. Number 25, back your packet in the review section. I am asked to prove these two triangles are congruent. A, B, D, along with A, C, D. All right, a quick review here, because it's been a while. As many methods as you can come up with of proving triangles congruent right now. As many methods as you can give me, and then we'll fill in the blanks. Many methods, 11, as many methods as you can. Yep. Got it. Okay, I'll fill in the blanks. One more, missing one. What's the missing one? Three. If not, we'll, we'll keep going. You ready to move on? Yeah. Okay. 12, angle, side, angle. You can always, hey, remember, you can always have two angles and a side. It's just a matter of if the side's in between or not. All right, let's get to this. Uh, let's see, these are perpendicular uh, and they're congruent. OE is congruent to OF. Those two are, lines are perpendicular. All right, anything you want here. You can do an old school reason or you can do a circle reason, either one. Let's start us off right. Six. Ho <laughs> ho. Two? For what? Thanks. Will just gave us a side. Took the easy way out. 11, so now you're uh, tougher here. Well, BE is congruent to, so you want to say these two pieces yeah. and these two. Yeah. That is true. My question is how are you going to get the full ones congruent though? Because watch, ready? You have those two and those two, but not necessarily are the whole chords equal. I agree with that statement that DF and FC and separately DE and EB are congruent, yes. That is true. I just don't know how you're going to get the whole things congruent. Okay. We'll get there, though. There is a way to do it. There's a circle theorem out there that says they are. It's out there. I just gave away a little bit. One, any thoughts? They are. And I'm just letting you know, the only thing we have left are circle facts. Nothing else previous in the year is going to help you. Circle facts only. Let's go. Let's go. What in particular? What, uh, what's congruent? Okay, that's true. I'll help you out with the reason now. BA is congruent to CA. What are those segments called? Okay, tangents. Where are they drawn to? Same point. Drawn to the same, I'm going to add a little word here because that point's on the outside. External point, tangent drawn to the same external point are congruent. There's another side. I got a lot of markings here. Five. All right, got two pairs of sides. Either I need an angle or another pair of sides. And it's a the circle theorem. It is a circle theorem. Remember, hey, nobody has touched the fact about those givens right there. Remember, it's given for a reason, right? Go ahead, you. Lay it on the line. 
These are both chords, and aren't they the same distance because these two segments are congruent? Aren't these two chords the same distance from center O? So that must mean they are congruent. DB congruent to DC. Chords equidistant from the center are congruent. And that looks like to give me enough information to prove the triangles congruent by what method? Eight. You got it. All right. I know I mentioned Friday's quiz is on the third and last part of this unit, but when you do the proof, you're going to need to know all the theorems. So just don't focus on that third part. Questions at all from you guys before we move on? All right, next one then. 27, 27. I could, yep. I could get more proofs. You guys are going to try one out on your own in a minute for homework. All righty. Ooh, now we go from proving them congruent to proving them similar. And hey, anything's fair game on Friday. Similar, congruent, CPCTC. Okay, before we tackle the proof, let's go over the three different ways of proving triangles similar. I know only one is used in a proof, but I want to review all three here. Anything you got for me? As many as you can give me, 19. Angle, angle. Side, angle, side similarity and side, side, side. Got them. Out of those three, which one do we always use in a proof? Okay, so here's our job right now. I need two pairs of congruent angles based on circle facts. Two pairs of congruent angles in those triangles. Again, make sure you know which two, everyone see the two triangles? It's not the two small ones, guys. All right, refocus if you need to, refocus here. It's ADC, the large triangle, and DBC, this one that's in the circle. Okay, so the large one and the inscribed triangle. Can you find me two pairs of angles anywhere? Circle facts or maybe something uh, we've used in the past. 20, see anything? Angle, okay, all right. Angle ADC is a right angle, but before I can write it's a right angle, because what theorem are you gonna use there? Okay, that's what I'm going to write. I'm not going to write that that's a right angle because that theorem doesn't say a right angle is formed. What's the theorem say? These two are what? Perpendicular. So here we go. So I'm going to write AD perpendicular to DC. And I'll just clean up that theorem a little bit. So a radius drawn to where, guys? What do I call point D? Mike, what do I call it? Yep, a radius drawn to the point of tangency. This is why we're doing a full day of proofs here, so we can get the wording down too. What about it? A radius drawn to the point of tangency, what about it? Is perpendicular to what? Not the point, but the tangent. Now we can go say what's, what type of angle is created now. Now we could say a right angle is created. Angle ADC is a right angle. Perpendicular lines form right angles. So 
So if she gave me an angle, a right angle in the big triangle, ADC, that means there should be a right angle in triangle DBC. So I can say they're, those two are congruent. Where, I'm sure you can tell where it is just by the looks, but why? Why is that one going to be a right angle? Well, where do you think the right angle is in triangle DBC? Angle DBC is a right angle. You are correct. Now I just got to pull that circle theorem out of you. Nope, because it's going to be a different reason. That's why. Yep, it's going to be a good question. It's going to be a different reason. It has nothing to do with the tangent and the radius. Anybody know why that is a right angle? Let's start here. What type of angle is it in the circle? Inscribed. And where is it drawn to? Or diameter, whatever you prefer, yes. Okay, so an inscribed angle, here you go. An inscribed angle. Drawn to a diameter or semicircle, whatever you want to write. is a right angle. Good review here today. Good review. Then you can say, what about the right angles? They're congruent. Yep. They're, and that's only one pair, though. Where's the other pair? Right angles are congruent. Okay, there's one pair for angle angle. Where the heck is the other pair, huh? And don't overthink this. Don't overthink this. What do you got, Max? Yep, angle C's in both triangles. Everyone see it? So it's shared by both. Full angle. You got it. Angle C congruent to itself. Nice. And then we can finish this bad boy off now. How about I write angle C in there? Triangle ADC. How many of you are writing the congruent symbol? Stop being an embarrassment. Angle, angle. All right, everyone, all right? So we did proving triangles can grow, prove them similar. Anything's fair game on Friday. Now let's, uh, one more together. Proving O congruent to P. Most of you are thinking if before I get O and P congruent, I'm probably going to need. Okay. All right. Maybe. All right, let's get on our way here somehow. Anything you want to throw up there, it can be old or it can be circle facts that you want to uh, grace, drop some knowledge on us. Two, drop some knowledge here. Nice, OA perpendicular to AB. And on the other, in the other circle, CP. Perpendicular to CB. How'd you know that there, young Will? Uh, what? <laughs> Just start throwing out words. Drawn to the... <laughs> nice.
Okay, you can build off of what? Go ahead, question. When everything's fair game. We're doing a proof. Everything is fair game. Okay, you can either build off of wills or go your own direction. Four. Okay, blazing her own trail right there. Why is that true, Rachel? Good. OBA. Congruent to CBP. Hey, Rachel got us a pair of angles. All right, anybody want to keep building off of wills there? 12? Angle A and angle C are right angles. Nice. Why there, Emma? And I'll just do the next step. Now you're going to say they're congruent, right? A and C. We're not. We're doing all right. We got two pairs of angles. Anything else here? Two pairs of angles. Don't tell me the I can't don't tell me OA and CO are congruent because the radii have to be where to be congruent. Would a radii have to be located to be congruent? Same circle, not two different ones, same circle. This is nasty of me to do. Sure, Sean. Um, you're like there, but you're not. Because you can't use CSSTP because that's corresponding sides are in proportion. <laughs> very clever. Very clever, though. I like it. Very clever. You're almost there, though. Guys, we are not going to be able to prove any sides in those triangles. I'll tell you that right now. You're not going to be able to prove any sides. We're not proving them congruent. I can't, I can't get you a side congruent. It's not going to happen. So I'm not going to prove the triangles congruent. Luke? Don't I have a, how many degrees in a triangle, everybody? How many degrees in a triangle? 180. If those two pair are congruent, third pair should be congruent because they add up to 180. Everyone agree? And yes, that's what we called the third angles there. A nice job up there. Nice job. So we're, we're not proving triangles congruent here. I have two pairs that are already congruent. That must mean the third pair have to be congruent. So angle O congruent to angle P. Yep, we call that the third angles theorem. Only in a triangle, though. Only in a triangle. How about that? Am I could you know? Am I going to test yet? No, I'm not. But here's where I needed you to be right here, getting those angles congruent. That's where I needed you to be. All right, questions. Uh, 
you're going to start the homework now, but I appreciate it if you started on the last proof there. All right, while I'm here, you can move around, discuss. Hey, if you are stuck, definitely call me over and I'll help you out. All right, if you are stuck, call me over, I'll help you out. If you, for some reason, feel like you need colored pencils, because if you look at this diagram, there's a lot of overlapping triangles. There's colored pencils on top of the textbooks and on the side of the room. All right, go ahead. Please call me over if you're having any issues. <laughs> 